first ever World Science Conference 2015 in Israel. Welcome. At this time, we'd like to have you all on the stage for a picture. No, between one and a hundred. Any number between one and a hundred. Any number you want. 50 and 51. So 51, this is the number. See, I wrote here, Shimon will say 51. Can you see? This is interesting. This is interesting. I never thought that Israel has a chance to become an important country because the small size of our land and the small number of our people. Professor Menachem Ben Sasson, you changed my mind. All of a sudden, the Hebrew University has taught us that in spite of our smallness, we can become, we can become a great country scientifically. Because the Hebrew University is among the 67 important universities in the world. Science is more important today than politics. Science changed our way of life. It's not just a shift from one age to another age, from the age of the land to the age of science. It changed, it revolutionized our way of life. We are living in a totally different age. You know, it is said that the um Zionist movement got its greatest boost during the First World War because of a chemist by the name of Chaim Weizmann who developed a uh, synthetic form of acetone and according to common wisdom, the, uh, his invention helped the British war effort in World War I. I see it somewhat differently. I see that in that case, science, his scientific accomplishment gave him political access to advance the diplomatic aims of Israel, of what would become Israel. And in gaining that political access to Prime Minister Lloyd George of Great Britain, what followed were extraordinary documents that helped establish the foundation of what would become the State of Israel. Science, in my judgment, will emerge as a key component for building peace in a changed Middle East and it may not be far away. Thank you, and thank you for coming. We take pride in our commitment in Israel for science and technology. Indulge me a bit of pride. The latest OECD data show that Israel is the world's leader in the intensity of research and development as measured by national R&D to GDP. Ours today is around 4%, and the Prime Minister always tell us more, 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 more research and development. Today we have 250 companies that have the research and development centers here in Israel, but we want to see more. If a people wants to build a normal state, and we didn't have it that time, because we preceded the state of Israel in more than 30 years, we didn't have any chance but to build first the foundation of a normal society. And the foundation for normal society is one and only. You heard it, science.